Hey everybody, Tom Lydon with you, Westwood Living Podcast Network, and I am here with one Robert Hare of Rob Hare Photography. How are you, my friend? I'm good, Tom. How you doing, buddy? You know, we go back now, crazy enough, five years is the first time I met you. Is that right? Back yeah, in tw- 2018, wow. we were introduced by Bailey Medeiros when she said, listen, we're going to go see this guy, Rob, and he's going to shoot some promo shots for our first party. Now, we're sitting here in your studios, Lens Pro, right? Yep. yep. And... We've just shot the promo shots for the fifth anniversary. Fifth anniversary. That's wild. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, it is. You know, one of the, I'm really glad that you're you're kind of a, a part of what we're doing with Westwood Living because, you know, obviously Rick Byrne is my main partner with what we're doing on the covers every month yep. and the features every month. And it was great that the two of you guys got a chance to meet each other recently and interact. And, you know, and, and like I said to Rick at the time, a big fan. You know, I love his stuff. And there's a mutual admiration, I think, between the two of us, too. So it's really great to get the chance to sit down and meet him and uh, admire the man in person. So <laughs> I don't ever want Rick to work at our social events because, mm. you know, I think it's important for the people who show up to see him, interact with him and give him a chance to absorb the fact that people appreciate the work Makes that he's sense. doing, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I also know how great a job that you do when we do have these events capturing everything. So I'm I so appreciate super that. Yeah, appreciative you. of that. Uh, and our relationship has certainly blossomed over the years, but you do so many different things. So give people a little bit of a background about what's the bread and butter of your business and how things work for you. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm a, a commercial portrait photographer by trade. So I do a lot of studio portraiture. I work a lot with lighting, um, but I'm really a generalist when it comes to photography. I do weddings and I do commercial photography in forms of product work. I do um, you know, senior portraits and it, pretty much if it stands still long enough, I will take a picture of it. So that's always been sort of my game is that uh, whatever needs doing, I do. Now, you're on a bit of a heater recently because you've gotten some amazing shots at some different weddings. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. shot a wedding, a wedding recently in the middle of a hurricane. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Our, my good friend, Allie Marcello, got married up in North Conway uh, during, the, <laughs> during the hurricane that blew up the East Coast. And uh, we did her portraits in 40, 50 mile an hour winds up on Cathedral Ledge in North Conway. So, yeah, but we got some beautiful shots. Yeah. I remember when I was younger watching a documentary it was actually an nfl films documentary and they had the videographers talking about the challenges of shooting in conditions yeah and what they said across the board and i think you agree with this is that you have to embrace the conditions yeah. because it's the conditions that really create unbelievable images they talk about the games in That's the right. snow the games in the rain is it similar yeah it's a hundred percent it's you know if you if you embrace the challenge and you're not afraid to tackle it the images that come out of those experiences often are the are the are the ones that everybody gravitates to because it's so they're magical there's something very special about that when you have lighting and you backlight somebody through rain or you've got the wind blowing the veil in a particular direction it's just there's something about that moment that's captured forever and that that is just gold so well, I've been fortunate that you're a part of the Lessons from Leaders series. You've been able to capture some amazing images already just through one session. I'm looking forward to the next two sessions, but I'm particularly thankful when I hear you today talk about how busy your schedule is yeah, and that yeah. you are just stacked up one after the other. Yeah. That's great, and it's challenging, too, it at is. the same time. So how do you balance that busy schedule? That well, you- it's like I tell everybody. So you know, I, I have multiple things going on in my life. I am, I am a, I have a full-time job in the photography business. I run a customer service division for the largest camera and lens rental company in the country, uh, Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals out of Memphis, Tennessee. Um, so that takes up Monday through Friday from nine to six every day. And then uh, nights and weekends, I'm shooting full time. So I'm, you know, jumping into a, an event or doing a portrait for somebody or, um, and on top of that, I'm a dad, you know, I've got two kids and, and a wife at home and um, it takes, you know, a, a, a religious schedule to, uh, to make sure I get it all in and I'm where I need to be and when I need to be there, so. Well, your entree to sports and to the Patriots specifically, Mm -hmm. I'm curious about. Because I don't even know exactly how that started, but I know that I was introduced to you through Bailey, as I said, and you had done some work shooting their calendar, uh, among other things. So just take us back down memory lane a bit. So I I opened my studio in 2008 uh, after many years in the magazine industry, and then um, I I transitioned to opening my own photography studio, Uh, got together with a group of other photographers. I've always been a big networker, and uh, a friend of mine managed to land the gig to shoot the Patriots cheerleader calendar and he needed a highly technical photographer to help him with the lighting and the equipment. So I started traveling with him for a few years to the Caribbean with the Patriots cheerleaders to do these calendars. 
as the Patriots do, they move things around and they shift uh, their priorities and, and their look. And they uh, eventually came to me after four or five years and asked if I would shoot one of the calendars for them. So I obliged and um, I did a couple of the calendars myself. And uh, through that, I also met uh, a, a phenomenal producer with CBS who was doing a behind the scenes on the shooting of the calendar. Uh, great guy, great friend by the name of Gareth. And he asked, he said, you know, we love your work and we'd love for you to come in and photograph the players. And for Thursday night football, actually. So I went in and uh, that led to doing that for five years and, and ended uh, that stint with the last Patriots Super Bowl where I did all 52 players and their portraits for the Super Bowl and photos were on TV for 52 million people to see. That so, is so cool. And yeah. you're going to know if you're listening to this what Rob's talking about, because if you go back at any time and ever watch that Super Bowl 53 broadcast, it's those amazing black and white mm. dramatic images that you shot of. When you think back, even just five years now, yeah. I mean, what are legends in Patriots yeah. history? Yeah. The interactions that you had with these guys as they come in. And I, I know this from what I used to do in broadcasting is that there are some people who have a great appreciation for the art. And what yeah. was it like? And who were some of the most engaged players who said who cared more about what you did and how things looked? Yeah, you know, it it, I, it really is a thrill because I grew up a Patriots fan. I remember sitting in the old metal bleachers in Foxborough Stadium and uh, seeing the team when we struggled through the 80s and, and early 90s. Um, so to be able to photograph these guys one-on-one -on -one during some of the best years of the team was a, a phenomenal honor, but just a, a complete thrill. I'm not somebody that get really hung up on meeting celebrities at all, um, but when you meet Tom Brady for the first time and he walks into the room and you shake his hand and you get the opportunity to tell him how you appreciate him, that's a pretty big thrill. So obviously working with Tom, um, I got to know Julian Edelman really well and Rob Gronkowski uh, became good friends with Brandon Bolden, who's still a very good friend. Uh, Gino Grissom, who stayed very, I've stayed very good friends with. So those guys all, all stand out. The McCourty twins, they, you know, to photograph both brothers together. That I mean you. That's an opportunity that, as a sports fan, does not come along ever. So I know you also know Billy Weiss, who's the head of photography yeah. for the Red Sox, yeah. and I got a chance to become friends with Billy. And he has done a great job over there, too, because he has made it known to the players that, like, I don't want to be a nuisance. Right. But, and I want you to value what I do. Mm -hmm. And he's been able to flip it as such so yeah. that the players actually approach him and say, like, hey, right. you know what? Can you – I'm looking to get this kind of shot doing this. Can yeah. you do it? So to get to that level of collaboration, how difficult is that? How challenging is it? What's the key it's to It's trust. That? You know, I mean, these guys, they, there's so much that's demanded of their time and, and, and of, um, you know, of their focus. Um, football is, is their life, and they're not necessarily people that want to exist in front of a camera. So learning to uh, earn their trust and know that you're protective of their privacy as well is really important. Uh, I've had several guys come up to the studio and work with me one-on-one -on, -one on, on portraits that they needed for their businesses or things like that. And that's a real honor. You know, when you're asked to do something like that on a personal level for people that you admire and watch on, you know, Sunday afternoons, is, that's a thrill. So. Is that the highlight, doing the stuff for the NFL and for the Patriots? Or is there another highlight throughout your career that you point to that says, you know, that's it might be a small project, something that you've done that you're like, that's my favorite day or my favorite weekend. I will tell you, one of the big thrills in my career is when you photograph something that doesn't seem like a big deal at the time, um, somebody with their father, somebody with their mother, and they come back to you after an unfortunate, they lose somebody, and they come back to you and say, that's my favorite photo I've ever had, and I need that. Can you print that for me? Would you put in? And you get an opportunity to frame that and put that. Latoya Edwards is a very good friend of mine. Um, and I've done this, I think, with a photo of you and your dad, actually, at a couple of events. And that that's a, you know, that's a real, it's an honor. And I really love that aspect of it. I think from a fun standpoint, um, I worked with uh, Jeb Bush years ago before he um, uh, went into the presidential campaign. And he's a really funny guy. Like, he's got a great personality. And I worked with him for about 20 minutes, which is unusual. Um, but the photo... I took of him, he loved so much, he actually put it on the cover of one of his books. He had a number one bestseller, and it was it was uh, my image that's on the cover of that book, which is really cool. So that's kind of a thrill. So what if you have a pitch to somebody, somebody you're busy, mm -hmm. but if someone wants to work with you, what do they need to know about working with you? Well, particularly from a commercial standpoint, so I'm a businessman first. I, I, I pride myself on that. I understand uh, rapid turnaround. I understand priorities for your business and your exposure um, that you need to create. So I, I cater my style to what my client needs. Um, and that's my number one priority. So I think when you're in this business, we work with a lot of artists. And artists can be 
you know, particular in the way that they display things, but I really pride myself on being a business person first, understanding the needs of my clients, and then executing those jobs uh, to the best of my ability to capture the images that they need, and then get them to them as quickly as possible, make sure. The highest compliment I can give you is that whenever you're done shooting an event, you're drenched. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's for sure. I'm a sweater. <laughs> you, but it just speaks to how much you hustle around, and yeah. I've been very fortunate to have you do now four of our kick off the holidays parties yeah. and the fifth one's coming up on December 2nd at Mariel Underground, a place you love to shoot. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that does pose some challenges. It's, it's a challenge. It's a challenge, <laughs> but it's a great venue. So we work with it. That's great. And he just shot the promo shots of Bailey and me just moments ago, which you'll see uh, as we promote the event on December 2nd. And for those of you in the Westwood area, Rob's also going to be joining us, not only at the Lessons from Leaders events coming up on October 10th and October 18th, but also at our next Westwood Living Social, which is scheduled for November 8th at Cadillac of Norwood. So he's basically on retainer. <laughs> and we've been bunking with each other over the right. last couple of weeks. <laughs> Roommates. <laughs> but it, it's been fantastic, and I can't thank you enough. Yeah, and, no, uh, my all, all the best to you, and I look forward to the next five years yeah. and where this relationship and friendship blossoms. I appreciate it, Tom. It's been a great honor. That is Rob Hare from Robert Hare Photography. You should sure reach out if you need to get some amazing images of your events or whatever else captured because I'm sure he'll figure out a way to get it done and get it done in a very high-end manner. As always, if you have another person you think would be a great conversation for me to have, just give me a shout. T. Leiden at bestversionmedia.com. I will track that person down and we will have a conversation. And of course, I'll share it right here on the Westwood Living Podcast Network. But for now, from Rob Hare's office up in Concord officially? Concord, Massachusetts. Concord, Mass. This is Tom Leiden and Rob saying farewell and enjoy the rest of your day. Mm -hmm.